Hi, this is Phil Graba with Element Tuning, and this is part two of sub-freezing cold start with the Hydro EMS 2.7. In the first video, it looked like we had a discrepancy between the air temperature, the coolant temperature reading in the Hydra, and what was actually being registered by the OEM external air temp sensor. Um, in this, we're going to show you how to make an adjustment um, to the air temp settings or the coolant temp sensor settings should you have a certain version of the Hydra EMS, the basically Epsilon. However, I can make these changes in the base maps, and if I find that this is the right thing to do, that's what we'll send our base maps out with. So, under your tuning maps, go down to sensor calibration, click on coolant temperature sensor and or air temperature sensor, and you basically have your voltage scale and your corresponding air temps. Um, as you can see, we are showing about 21.2 degrees Fahrenheit. I switched to uh, Fahrenheit on the ECU. And we're showing uh, 22 degrees on the factory sensor. If you remember, on the first cold start video, uh, after the cold start, we had a bit of an excessive enrichment. Now, when you first start the car, you are going to basically go into your cranking enrichment map, then your cranking enrichment decay maps um, under starting, you can see here, and then your post-start fuel trim, and then your post-start fuel trim decay. So basically cranking enrichment, cranking enrichment decay, then that flows into post-start as soon as it starts, and then post-start fuel trim decay. We'll click on post-start, and we'll basically go down to uh, the temperature here, um, that it's showing 14 degrees. Uh, well, basically, you know, it's extrapolating between the various load cells, but um, this is the enrichment. I made a change. I lessened it. So hopefully today what we'll get is uh, a fire up with less enrichment after the start. So let's give this a shot. Okay, so as you can see, post-start fire up. In the 13s, the 12s, that's about where I want it. Um, let's see, it's starting to go richer. Now, basically, if you click on your tuning maps and then go to your starting, we're in the post start right now, and then it goes into post start fuel trim decay. And you can see it's adding an enrichment here. And if we want, we can simply reduce this amount to lean out the AFR. So if I can get a wide angle here, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on. Okay, I'm just going to extrapolate this data real quick. Um, as you can see, we're definitely leaner than we were yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more fuel out, just hit the negative key. We're basically in the 11s. I'm going to go a little bit more. 11 and a half. It's still running fine. There's no issues. You don't want to go too lean because that could result uh, in your idle oscillating. So every car is a little different. Um, this car isn't too crazy on the cam, so um, it's idling just fine uh, in the 11s. Now we're basically going into the 12s. As you can see, I'll take a little bit more out. You can see where the yellow cursor is tracking right now. That's actually what's going on. And then basically what we need to do is we're going to have to make these changes to these last few cells here too. And if you want, you can really just edit your very last column and then highlight everything here. Hit your X key. To extrapolate and bam there you go so right now we're about 12 and a half to one <clears throat> idles coming up nicely I could probably take out a little bit more fuel on this particular car 12 and a half to one 12 six to one this is pretty good um, range to be in. Now, you could try going a little bit leaner, um, but uh, I'm happy with this. So, uh, 
smooth this map out a little bit, deal with your coolant temp trim, but again, another cold start, 22 degrees Fahrenheit, adjustment of the coolant temperature calibration, the air temperature calibration, and a little bit of post-start enrichment map changing. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, you can email us at phil at elementtuning.com.